Okay, girlfriends, welcome back to the channel for another vlog. You guys have really been enjoying the vlog, so I just want to say thanks so much for showing love, all of the likes, the comments, the sharing. Thanks, girl, for showing love on the channel. I appreciate you. Um, Right now, I come to say, hey, girl, hey, while I look cute, because y'all know this right here could change within the next clip, okay? So right now, I'm sitting down wa watching. I'm filming... A chit chat and a Q&A. I did a two parts because I didn't want the video to be super long. So I already finished the chit chat. Now I'm moving on to the Q&A. Anytime I got to do a q and I get a little nervous or anxiety. I don't know why. I don't know why. But and I'm also sitting here eating popcorn because y'all lately popcorn is just like my snack. I'm doing skinny pop whatever this is. I wanted to come to the girls introduce the new vlog while I look cute. Yeah let me finish this video so I could um get going hey y'all so it's literally the next day girl it is 8 49 y'all didn't miss anything I literally woke up at 6 p.m today was just like one of those days today's Saturday and I was like I don't feel like doing anything I don't want to go anywhere I just want to stay in bed and sleep so I just slept all day after I had therapy this morning I just went to sleep and I just been sleep all day um I'm hungry but I'm not, I don't feel like going to dinner or doing anything I just kind of want to stay home but I do have energy to record for some strange reason so I woke up went to Sephora picked up a few things that I'm going to share and I did my makeup I think I like the way it came out I don't know um but I'm gonna tell y'all what I got because you know how sometimes you're doing your makeup and you're just like oh I'm bored with it I want to like add some new products that's what I was feeling so I went over to Sephora picked up Y'all, another thing I realized, every time I go to Sephora, I never buy makeup. I always, I'm the type of person, if my makeup is working, I don't add new makeup. I may add like a lip liner, a lipstick, a new eyeshadow, but I, for the most part, I don't really buy makeup. So when I went in there, I just felt like it was a whole totally different world. Cause I used to always go to Sephora and buy makeup. And now when I go to Sephora, I literally go straight to the back to like the skincare routines and products. I don't really care about anything else so they had so many different new things so I picked up the Urban Decay this is a new one oh y'all hit it that's that G7X for you whatever it is the um Urban Decay All Nighter and this is an ultra glow long lasting makeup setting spray this is like the best setting spray but I love a dewy makeup look because I feel like my skin like shines through a little more I'm not really a matte girl so I was happy that they have a new glowy setting spray so i tried that and i also tried the um urban decay let's see if she gonna work oh, urban decay all nighter face primer and this is also a dewy face primer um up to 12 hours wear it preps it smooths and hydrates so i don't know how i feel about this i don't know if i love this i'm gonna give it one more try I love my Fenty Dewy foundation um, primer. So I like the fact that this one was a little sticky. So my foundation would like stick more. But I don't know. I didn't like the way it made my foundation process application. I didn't like that. Whatever. Um, lately I've been into like a very, not really contour, but just bronze. I don't contour anymore. I just make sure I bronze and it just gives you like a more of a natural look. So I tried a Huda Glowish. I guess this is something new girl because I've never seen this. A uh, Glowish and this is their Luminous Press Powder. Now this... I, when I tried this in the store, I was just like, oh my God, I have been looking for this. Because when I was in Houston, I found this powder. I forgot the name. I was in Sephora, but I was also Russian. And I don't like going to Sephora when I'm Russian. And I forgot the name of the powder. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna come back for it. It was so pretty. Because usually I use, I get like a darker blush. And I just use a blush as a bronzer. Because it could work. Now, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know. I don't know i think before i return this i'm gonna give this maybe a couple more uses and i got this one in deep 11 i was going back and forth from deep 11 and deep 10 maybe i'm gonna go back and get deep 10 and see how we feel about her now i get so many questions on my eyeshadow palettes when it comes to eyeshadow palettes i'm a neutral eyeshadow type of girl like the shadow that i have on now very just y'all that lighting just sucks let me see if i could 
very neutral eyeshadow type of girl my eyeshadows literally be like two shadows okay a matte and a shimmer because i don't have time i'm lazy when it comes to shadow so my shadows are i don't know hold on i have to turn this light down because i don't like the way this light is making us look so let's just turn her down a little and see what she's giving now Ugh girl whatever the lighting in this room is horrible but i get so many questions about my um palettes i just ordered this palette but this is the morphe jacqueline hill palette as you can see girl she is wore out and this is my go-to shadow if i can i'm gonna um link this down below i love this because these palettes i can literally if i'm traveling if i'm going anywhere all i have to do is take two palettes put them in my bag i don't have to fight with them and the name of this one is ring the alarm palette i've been having this thing for at least three years now um i've been on the hunt for this one but i could never find it in alta look how pretty it is and these are also a new also have neutrals in it now these are more of a like a deep neutrals great for like nighttime vibes um I use this palette for the look that I have now. I think it's pretty. I just feel like lately I just want a very natural, easy go-to makeup. Very bronzy, glowy. Now, one thing I can say, this all-nighter spray, y'all, the glowy spray, it definitely has me glowing. Now, I may have to start doing my makeup a little different. I don't know, girl, but yeah, that's what we picked up. I need to get, um, get to recording because it's 8.55 on a Saturday night, and yeah, we're about to record a video. So most likely, I'm not gonna see you guys tonight, but I will see you guys tomorrow, because tomorrow we're going to a festival. We're going to a crawfish festival. It's been years since I've been to this festival, and I'm excited to go because since COVID, I feel like New Orleans is very, like we have the best festivals here. Like if you ever in New Orleans, always check um to see what type of fest festival is going on. So tomorrow we're gonna go to the strawberry, not strawberry festival girl, the crawfish festival. So I look forward to that because I know I wanna do crawfish bread. I've never had crawfish bread, craw, crawfish bread before. And I wanna do crawfish beignets. So I just wanna try new things tomorrow. So most likely I'm gonna just see you guys tomorrow when we um leave out for that. Because the, for the rest of the night, I'm just about to um record a video. Actually, I'm gonna probably record two videos because I slept all day and I have a lot of energy. So, yeah, girl. Lost without you. Walmart because one it is hot I literally have on leather pants step step for her shenanigans again step, step always have a uh, wardrobe dilemma step shoes too small my pants honey is sweating it's just not cute at this point so I'm about to go to Walmart and find me a whole new fit but I just need um I just need pants from Walmart because this is not Girl, where is his shirt at? That's what I'm I feel him. I'm ready to take off my shirt at this point. So, Walmart is walking distance, y'all. We literally may be... I can see Walmart parking. We're in a parking lot over from Walmart. Ooh, child. Y'all, they have so much good food here. I don't know what I want. They had a crawfish egg roll. I think we're going to have to get that. It had a crawfish cream sauce on the top. And I also saw alligator wrap in crawfish sauce. I've never had alligator before, but I think we're about to try some today. What kind of Walmart don't have L? We've made it to the Wally World. Oh, y'all, I'm in Walmart looking for shorts. And first of all, I can't find them. Like, what do a girl have to do to just get a pair of black shorts? And baby, this is maternity. We don't even need to be over here. All right, so they have denim shorts. I'm not really a big fan of denim shorts, so these are no. Just walking, girl, I'm sweating. And also, my wig feel like she is literally crying for some air. Baby, it is hot. I don't know. You can tell I don't leave my house, baby, because, oh child, I was not prepared for the weather. I even checked the weather app this morning. 
Oh, they got some workout shorts, but they, oh no, hold on. So they have these. I would like these in black so I could actually use these for working out. All right, y'all, so I am literally in the fit room at Walmart. I had to put on some black shorts and I had on some black leather pants, but it was just, it was hot, girl. My hair is crazy, but whatever. So this is the look. Sexy babe, but you don't want nobody else. You don't want this guy, you don't want that guy. You wanna touch yourself when you see me. Tell me, another thing I can tell I'm not used to going outside because I don't like crowds. And y'all, they got a crowd. Gigi don't like crowds, girl. So, mm, y'all, step out to play this game. She's trying to win her daughter a goldfish. So, first of all, hold on, let me you have to throw the ball into one of these. I'm going to put my easy piece. I'm going to put my money on. She's not going to win. <laughs> She's not going to make it. Easy piece not going to happen. Let's see. Sal? Your kid ain't getting a goldfish today. <laughs> Your kid will not. Girl, Stephanie. Give me one. Ah, Nick. We're on the last ball. Come on, Steph. Last ball. One, two, three. Your kid ain't getting no fish. I'm going to try again. No, Stephanie, you're not trying again. Why? Stephanie. If that's good, give me $5. Give me $5. Bitch, just put your hand in that tank and steal a fish. <laughs> You better get it for another five dollars. Let's go, yeah, Stephanie. Stephanie. Oh my God, Stephanie. Come on, you got this. <laughs> Y'all, I really doubt it, Steph. But Steph really got a fish. Steph really got a fish. A scrub is a guy that thinks he's buying it. Also known as a buster. Always talking about what he wants and just sits on his broke ass. So, no, I don't want your number. No, I don't want to give you mine. And no, I don't want to meet you nowhere. No, don't want none of your so we are just now leaving the festival. I may look orange because the sun is setting. Oh, whatever. Um, I had fun. I tried alligator. It just tastes like booty to me. It was yeah. totally fine. Ah. Yep, I'm tired. So we're gonna just check out y'all. The sun, I literally look like an Oompa Loompa right now. This is crazy. Mm. And for those of you who are gonna ask, my glasses are Fendi. Oh, they're just so good. These are literally my favorite glasses. Yeah. And baby, these shoes, literally, like, I got these in the 39. I really should have got the 39 and a half because these are definitely, like, rubbing on the back. Oh, my God, look at how ashy my ankles are. Wow. These things are tearing my feet apart. I just want to take them off, like, now. I will talk to you girls probably tomorrow because for the rest of the night, I plan on doing nothing. Oh, he cute. Hmm. Bye, girl. Hey, girlfriends. It's Monday, the next day. I'm at yoga. I like to start my week off with yoga. I just feel like it helps me flow through the week very easy. I'm going to yoga at least four times a week at this point. If you haven't tried yoga, I would definitely recommend you try a class because it's so helpful. It's therapeutic and it just helps me flow through the week. And I cannot go without yoga, girl. So y'all, it is literally Saturday. I haven't talked to y'all since last last Sunday, since we went to the other festival. Today, I'm gonna go to the Ferret Shoe Festival. I've never been to that one before. Right now, I'm at the park. We're supposed to have like a picnic with my sister, and we invited like cousins and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm sitting here because I had to come over here to talk. I had to come over here to talk to y'all. So I don't think I. I don't think I talked to y'all today, but just came to say, hey girl, hey. It's literally a week later. Oh girl, uh-uh, not the bird. All right, it's getting real ghetto and unbecoming. Hey girl, bye girl. Through drought and famine, that's
natural disasters my baby has been around for me kingdoms are falling angels be calling none of that could ever I just woke up from a nap <clears throat> as you could hear it in my voice y'all i'm still tired <laughs> um but i was like wait i didn't even really even talk to y'all today so i come just to have a little chit chat um this week y'all didn't really see me because honestly i didn't do anything this week this week was hibernation for me i literally went to yoga monday after that every single day i just slept and when i know i want to have a week where i do nothing and just sleep all day i'm talking about literally sleep y'all i will wake up take a shower go back to sleep wake up post on instagram i'm going back to sleep wake up eat go back to sleep um when i know i want to do that the week before i go crazy hard i make sure i have enough content to uh post for the week that i want to do nothing i make sure only thing i really get backed up is on like emails and We'll do that. I like to go to like Starbucks and answer emails. I hate doing that type of work at home because I get so bored and distracted. So we might do that Monday. Um, but today that's when you guys saw oh, today that's when you guys we caught back up. Um, I went to the Forest Street Festival. I've never been to that festival before. It was okay. My favorite festivals in New Orleans is the Po Boy Fest and the French Quarter Fest and the French Quarter Fest is actually in two weeks of course I'm going to take you guys with me for that if you're in New Orleans you should definitely go because it's gonna be litty it's so fun y'all I went to Parkway today if you're ever in New Orleans you have to try Parkway they literally have the best po boys in the city one of the places that has the best po boys in the city um also I'm gonna put it on my guides on Instagram so definitely follow me on Instagram and check out the guides for your food pleasures and all my guides I don't just post New Orleans places I have a few places from Houston and New York basically any place I feel like is worthy of going I'll add it to the guides um and then we went to the park oh it was supposed to be well it was a picnic I got there a little late so I didn't eat there that's why I stopped to get food before but today was just a good day it is spring the weather is amazing speaking of spring y'all I I'm in the process of switching out my closet now let me tell y'all getting dressed at this point is just horrible so the first thing i did was switch out my boots so the boots are gone i have all spring summer shoes in the closet however i don't have any real short sleeve dresses or anything so it's like fall winter clothes summer shoes so getting dressed nowadays is just hell so this week i really have to switch out my clothes for some more all of my spring stuff so that's really the update because i was like i haven't talked to y'all you guys have really been enjoying the vlogs and it's funny because i was like okay y'all don't get used to the vlogs but i guess y'all can get used to the vlogs now because outside is open and i feel like every weekend during the week i don't really do too much but every weekend now is something going on in new orleans so every weekend i'm gonna be going to a new festival trying new restaurants all of the things so i guess you guys can get used to vlogs right now and another thing i'm enjoying vlogging because i sat down while well, i didn't intentionally one of my videos popped up i was watching a video and my video came up next i was cringing literally trying to run to the computer to turn it off and then i just started letting it play it was like a vlog and it was so like i was like oh okay so i'm watching it and <clears throat> i was like it it was like weird it's kind of like i'm looking at vlogging as like a it's like a personal visual diary it's so cool to me that i can just go back and see the journey i'm like oh my god i forgot i did this in houston or i forgot we did this in new york it's just like so cool to watch vlogs well my own vlogs so yeah i'm gonna be vlogging a little more this year to yeah 
document the journey i'm enjoying it i'm gonna be honest when y'all tell me gee you're hilarious i'd be like well i'm not telling jokes what do you mean like what is funny what are we laughing at when i watched my vlogs i was like oh okay i kind of like get it now because at first i'm like okay i don't feel like i'm funny i'm not telling jokes it just made me be like what are we laughing at what is hilarious like i don't get it girl and one of my friends he was like one of my subscribers is his client and i guess she told him i love g she's hilarious i literally told him i said what the hell do i look like okay ronald mcdonald i am not on here telling jokes please tell me what is so funny but when i watched the vlog it kind of like i was like oh okay i can see how they will find this funny i guess but i don't know i'm just enjoying vlogging so i guess y'all could get a little used to vlogs or whatever but yeah, girl, for the rest of the night, I just woke up from a nap, so I'm not tired. It's like 11 p.m. For the rest of the night, I'm about to clean my room because when I get dressed, it looks like a hurricane hit. Um, I think I'm about to wash this wig because she's so dirty that the lace is just, oh, disgusting. Um, about to wash this wig, clean up, and I'm about to listen to the Joe Button podcast because my favorite podcast and it's two and a half hours long and i listen to every single second of it oh my god wait a minute how could i forget this i forgot to tell y'all that i booked my first solo trip i did that this week and i'm so proud of myself i told y'all this year i'm doing everything that i'm afraid of and i booked my first solo trip i'm so scared but nervous and excited i have so many different emotions about it but i'm so excited because every single thing that i'm afraid of this year i'm just doing it and i was just like let's book a solo trip so booking a solo trip i'm so proud y'all i'm proud of myself that i even booked the flight and booked the hotel because for me when it comes to a solo trip that's commitment don't get me wrong i got a little anxiety about it but I'm excited about it. And of course I won't be sharing where I'm going because that's gonna give me even more anxiety. So we ain't doing that. <laughs> um, but yeah, book my first solo trip, girl. If you've been in like the, going back and forth with yourself about solo trips, maybe this is your sign to just do it, girl. Just jump off the porch and do it. So this year I look forward to seeing all of the experiences that I'll experience this year because one thing I'm realizing I am so interested in like the world and experiencing different things out of my culture out of my comfort zone so I am just yeah I'm excited I'm excited to see what this year will bring so but before I get to ranting girl let me just go because we could be here talking all night but yeah girl bye girl so I ended up watching The Housewives of Potomac and I went to this episode specifically. I don't know why, but I just wanted to watch it again. And looking back, it was hilarious. It was very entertaining. And this is all I watched for the rest of the night. And then the next morning I woke up. This is Sunday. I was watching a T.D. Jake sermon. I literally start every Sunday morning off with a T.D. Jake sermon. I feel like lately his sermons have been amazing. Like literally all of his sermons just speak to me. So before I left the house, I made sure to watch um, this sermon. It was amazing. It is 6.30 on a Sunday. I would, uh, ran some errands and I went home and I was like trying to do some work. And I was like, I don't feel like being inside. It is beautiful outside. Let's see what the weather is. Y'all hear the birds chirping? It's 77 degrees. It's so pretty. Um, I'm sitting here on a little, I guess, blanket. I got music, listening to some good old 90s R&B girl the vibes okay um i went home to get some iced green tea while i'm out here i could do a little work i'm gonna um 
plan out some content and just sit here. I wanted to see the sunset, so I was like, I didn't feel like being inside, so we just came to the park. I like the fact that it's kind of like spread out so I could blast my music without bothering other people. And yeah, it's a vibe. I don't know if you can hear it. I came over here because this waterfall right here, I like to hear this waterfall. So I came like close to this side and the wind is blowing y'all, the sun is shining and I'm outside, okay? G did not feel like being inside. And of course, we're here solo. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but every time I would try to come to the park I would always end up doing something else it's like either too hot um too humid too muggy and it's just never like the perfect day and today is literally the perfect day I could not ask for anything else I hate grass Ugh. I hate grass so I tried to find the baldest spot on the grass I hate grass it's just always something and it's always me I can literally be sitting here with somebody nothing's gonna crawl on them nothing's gonna bother them it'll be just my luck as soon as I look down I see an ant I see a bug I see a lizard I see something so right now I'm gonna just mind my business and act like I don't see nothing because I don't want nothing to ruin my vibe right now so that's what we're doing we're gonna be here for maybe like the next two hours because we're probably not even two hours whenever the sun is completely gone and down I will leave but people are starting to look at me of course they are, right? I hope nobody dog run up on me because girl, I'm not in the mood, okay? Still driving in famine Natural disasters My baby has been around for me Kingdom to follow Angel be called Y'all sitting here I'm like I got lazy and I do not feel like getting up and y'all know how I told y'all it'll be just my look I start fighting with bugs girl I'm scared to talk and open my dang on mouth all these they're like these little bugs just flying they're not biting but I want no parts of the activity oh so I'm trying to mind my business but they're bothering me a little but y'all the weather is starting to drop I'm gonna stay here for maybe like another 30 minutes and go back home because I need to upload some things to Poshmark. I don't know if I'm gonna do it tonight because I just hate uploading things to Poshmark. I just like really hate it. But I really need to upload some things to Poshmark and if I, they don't sell on Poshmark, within I'm gonna give it a good two weeks to like a month, probably not a month. I'm sending it to like Fashion File or The Real Real because I'm ready to get rid of the pieces. So I don't want to lie to y'all and say check the description box for my Poshmark <laughs> and it won't be there. So don't hold me to it, girl. None of that could ever make me. Stephanie, we're seeing you look a mess. You need to take that filter off. This is not no Stephanie. You look like you're in jail. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sitting here just scrolling on the internet, and I don't know if you guys know, but I did no by March. But I don't know. I'm drinking on a glass of Prosecco, and something told me just go see if you see a few things now I have multiple wish lists I have one wish list that I don't share because I'm like if I make these items hot I'm not gonna be able to find them because y'all gonna go buy them and one item I regret making hot <laughs> is my Fendi Havana sunglasses because y'all be on the hunt for them glasses and now we all on the hunt for the glasses so my chances of getting them it's getting slim so what I did was I'm like you know what when it comes to my vintage slash rare archive pieces I'm not sharing that wish list so I'm sitting here y'all they got some good things on that wish list I am an archives type of girl I love like that Saint Laurent 09 Saint Laurent um 2021 oh my god archive Prada oh Phoebe Philo Celine Peter Doe, y'all, the pieces that I have on my mind, oh, 
anyways i'm sitting here and something told me start scrolling for a few items soon as i typed in the first item bam i and now let me tell y'all i have been looking for all of these items for years six plus years type thing i'm talking about years i typed in the first item which is like the hardest thing to find in my size soon as i typed it in my size popped up now I paid, I would say I paid a premium. I did not care because I have been looking for six years and I'm like, uh-uh, I'm not passing this up. I'm not waiting for it to go on a deal or sale. No, I'm getting them. First item, I was in luck. Second item, I was like, okay, I feel like I'm on a roll. Typed in the second item, bam, my size popped up. One, both of these items was like one of one. From private sellers that's like one private seller uploaded this morning it said like eight hours ago one private seller um uploaded last week bam purchased it y'all my I'm, I'm, a, I'm on a roll with like the vintage rare finds so I'm just like I'm having a good day right now okay and then I see I'm on Instagram and I see this girl with these glasses on I asked her I was like where did she get these glasses she did not answer I'm sure she didn't even see my comment girl some, one thing about me when I want something, I'm going to find it. And I remember this celebrity stylist, he gave me a tip and he was like, this is how you find items that you don't only have the picture, you have no name. And bam, the glasses popped up. So girl, I'm over here on a roll. So I just definitely broke my, my no March spin, whatever girl. We only got a couple days in March, but just popped in to tell y'all I'm having a great day. I don't look my best, but I'm having a great day, okay? Um, now my goal for the rest of the night is to get um stuff uploaded to Poshmark. Let's see how that's gonna work. So I wanna get things uploaded to Poshmark. Now if we're being honest, when it comes to clothes, I don't upload clothes to Poshmark anymore because I just don't enjoy it. I don't wanna have to try on the clothes and then people ask you so many questions about the clothes. So if it's not um luxury or designer or something that I feel like I don't really wanna donate, then I give it to, I put, I'll upload it to Poshmark. So I only have like a few items here cause I'm cleaning out my closet right now. Each season, I clean out my closet. Every time I'm switching my closet over, like right now I'm going from fall, winter to spring, summer. I go through fall, winter and see, okay, I'm not wearing this no more. I haven't worn this in like a year or I didn't pull this out all season. I'll go ahead and get rid of it. Not everything, some things I feel like it's just too good to get rid of. I may not be wearing it now, but one day we'll wear it but these are the pieces right now that i have that i want to upload to probably more because i feel like these would be good pieces to upload so i had these boots these remind me i got these from zara mm, a couple years ago um these remind me of the saint laurent boots now i haven't picked these up i paid like a hundred sixty nine dollars for these maybe a hundred or 169 they're still in great condition. They literally look like the Saint Laurent boots. They're so, so good. This is a size 40. It fits like a nine, nine and a half, ten. 10. Great, it's suede with like a nice heel. So if these are your vibe, these will be on Poshmark. And I literally only worn these things one time in New York. So no, maybe twice, yeah, in New York. So they're in great condition, but I haven't pulled these out since I uh, purchased them when I went to New York. So. I'm gonna upload these. Next, I have some combat boots, or they're like, I got these from Pretty Little Things, and I got these, girl, years ago, I was obsessed. I got these as a dupe. Can you guys see this? I got these as a dupe to the um, Louis Vuitton Desert Boot. Y'all, ignore my nails. We have to talk about that, too, because I'm annoyed about my nails. Um, So yeah, these are size nine. I fit, feel like they would fit a size nine, nine and a half. I wouldn't stay a 10 because I think they're kind of like exact. So I would say nine, nine and a half. If you are a nine, nine and a half, these will fit. I love the color. I'm going back and forth about getting rid of these because I just think they're so freaking good. I hope you guys can see because the lighting is a little off, but these are really, really good. I don't know if I want to upload these because y'all, they're so good. They're These are literally like a great, Hold on, let me put one down. These are literally a great dupe to the Louis Vuitton Desert Boot. These are so good. I like the fact that they lace up and they don't have like a zipper on the side or anything. They're just so good. I love the color. So these may be uploaded. I'm not really 
sure about these. I haven't picked these up since maybe 2018. Now, the next pair of shoes, y'all, I have been going back and forth about these. Okay, G, don't sell them because y'all don't understand what I went through to get these shoes. When I worked at Saks, I did so many locator um, calls. I called, every, feel like every store in the U.S. to find these shoes. Couldn't find them anywhere. And this is back when that block heel was like a big thing. So there are these Aqua Zero sandals. They're like this royal blue, black and white detailing. So pretty, but look at this gorgeous heel. This heel is not for every body. To me, it's like an everyday shoe. Like if you're just going somewhere, these are very comfortable. They are a size 39. Oh, it's killing me because part of me feel like I'm gonna regret selling these. I just don't pick these up anymore. So I think I'm gonna upload them to Poshmark. If they sell, I'll sell them. If they don't sell within <laughs> literally like a couple days, I'm gonna pull them off because that's what I did with a one bag. I was trying to sell a Fendi bag and to this day, I'm so so happy I pulled that bag off. Like that's one of my favorite bags in my collection. Next, I have another luxury dupe, and these are a dupe to the Saint Laurent Billy Boot. Look how sick this is. Y'all know how I feel about platforms. Yes, I know it's about to be fall winter, but I mean you can still wear these next year. I got these in a size. I got these also from Ego, and I got them in a size. Hmm, I think these are 40. I want to say a 40. You don't say it on the shoe. I want to say these are a 40. Let's see. It says a seven. These are not a seven. I'm not a seven. These are either a, I'm going to say 40 because most platform boots, I get them in a 40. The uh, only reason I'm selling these because I'm at the point now where, okay, this dupe, I literally, um, I'm obsessed with it. I got my cost for wear out. As you can see, it's still in, oh, let me show it's still in great condition not too much wear or tear on them these do have like a zip closure so they fit pretty much anyone only reason I'm selling these because I'm gonna invest in the Saint Laurent Billy boot if I don't do the Saint Laurent Billy boot most like no most likely I'm gonna do the Versace Medusa um, Aventus platform boot I think I like those over the Billy boot so I use these I'm done with them and now I'm gonna go ahead and invest in the Definitely the Versace boot because I love that boot. It's so sleek. And what I like about the Versace over the um, Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent, the Billy boot has a buckle on it. I like the fact that the Versace just goes up and it's very sleek. I like that. So I'm going to go with that boot. So I'm going to get rid of those because I'm not going to need those anymore. Next, I have my handy dandy. Oh, let me see if you can see <sighs> my Gucci Marmont belt. This is another item that I got when I was at Saks. I went high and low. When they first dropped this belt, it literally sold out. I could not find it. I did a few locator items or locator situations and I got it. Now, in this belt, I got it in men's. I'm not really sure what size this is, guys. It says 100.40. I have no idea what that is. You can get this belt cut if you like. I went to Saks and got an extra hole added. I don't know if people care about that but and this is also the first release so on the newer gucci belts they have let me see if you can show it see how the edges are okay let me see okay the edges on this belt isn't sealed it's just kind of like a raw cut so i don't know if people care about that but I'm, i don't wear this belt anymore i don't think i'm gonna wear it anymore i think i'm done with it and i'm tired of seeing it in my wardrobe um, I would rather nowadays belts for me. I don't really like belts to go in my belt loop type situation I'm more of like a Extravagant Baba -ba boom belt like the um Low wave obi belt or the Valentino big belt, but even that one I don't think I would get that but like things like the low wave belt those are my own um, vibes So the Gucci belt I don't wear it. I'm tired of seeing it and it got to go Next, I have two bags. Only reason I'm getting rid of both of these because I don't wear these um, anymore. I only pulled the black one out and it comes in the dust bag. This is an Alexander Wang Rocky Duffel. Ah, ah. Uh, I'm reconsidering. <laughs> this is the Alexander Wang Rocky Duffel and this is in the mini. Look how beautiful that color is. That's why I'm reconsidering. Only reason I'm getting rid of this one is because I want I want a new red bag. I'm thinking about doing a red sac du jour, even though I said I wouldn't buy another sac du jour. 
or some type of red bag i don't know but i want a new red bag and this bag has a specific look a vibe and i only pick this up sometimes i didn't pick it weird enough and i'm ready to like revamp my wardrobe not my wardrobe revamp my handbag collection so i feel like i need to get rid of some and start bringing some more timeless classic pieces in when it comes to my handbags i feel like my handbag collection is fun i want a few pieces that's kind of like okay this bag right here i can pull it pull it out with any situation so i don't wear this anymore it is a mini size like i said as you can see and it comes with a crossbody strap that can be detached so oh this is so good the color is the thing that got me y'all the condition on this one i would say it's in pretty good condition they have like slight you probably can't even see it slight color just what is discoloration on the back you can't even see it but for the most part yeah this one is in i would say excellent to good condition and i also have this one now this one i have been trying to sell for the longest but every time i would put it on poshmark as soon as somebody inquire about it i jack it off poshmark because i'm like okay i'm not ready to get rid of it but i haven't put worn this bags in this bag in a year this one is the small and it has like a gunmetal hardware at the bottom top handle this one also comes with a detachable strap i love the color on this one so if you are into these style of bags i'm not gonna say click down below i should upload it but i know i'm not gonna have time to upload this stuff in my own in my Poshmark so what I would say is click down down below and follow me on Poshmark and you guys will know when I upload these things because I'm tired of looking at them and yeah I wanted to give you guys like a first dibs if you're interested in any of these items and as I clean out my closet in the vlogs we probably like do this I'll show it and hopefully by the time the vlog go out I'll have the pieces upload uploaded to Poshmark but I know these items will not be uploaded to Poshmark my goal is to get these uploaded this week so go ahead click the um down below my Poshmark follow all of those good things so you know you will know when I upload to Poshmark now for the rest of the night guys I'm about to just chill out I'm about to continue listening to my playlist and yeah drink some Prosecco because I haven't had Prosecco y'all in it's been like a month I would say a month because lately I've been working on my gut gut health and I didn't want to like ruin it so I feel like I've been doing good with the gut health so now we need a glass of Prosecco um and yeah that's pretty much all I have for this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed I know I did like it was a lot of cutting and stuff I missed out on the week y'all didn't miss anything yeah whatever but if you guys enjoyed this vlog go ahead give it a big thumbs up like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.